What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the Lowan Dog Grooming Kit. In this review, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this device, including one thing you should know before buying. All right, so we got this. Uh, we were actually contacted by the company and they provided this to us. Uh, and they did so because we had actually uh, reviewed a few other ones and they basically wanted to see how theirs compared uh, to theirs. Um, and I got to say that so far we are very happy with this thing. We've used it a few different times. Uh, and have had a positive experience thus far. So it's pretty simple in terms of how it works. Uh, basically, you just go back here, they have a power button, uh, and then the minimum uh, suction power, medium, and then the maximum, right? So you can just kind of turn it on. Let's turn it on here. You can hear it starting. We we'll go one more. And we we'll go one more. So that is the device, and obviously, there's a lot of suction coming through here right now. Now I want to point out that probably sounds a little bit louder than it should just because of the table it's on. If it's on the ground or something, it wouldn't be as loud because there wouldn't be a vibrate to it. But um, in terms of the device itself, in terms of what it comes with, so it comes with all these different clipper guards. Uh, one thing that I really like about these is that they are reversible. Um, there's just nothing more annoying than, you know, this is three different, uh, you know, clipper guards, which is great. Uh, there's nothing more annoying than six. You know, it's very common that you may, you know, one may fall out of the, the box or something. It's really annoying to use those overall. Um, so, you know, they come with these reversible ones, which I really like. Obviously, the tube that uh, will suck all the hair in, and then when it does suck it all in, it goes right into here, and you can obviously take this off uh, and clean this up. This will be full of hair uh, each time that you use it. Now in terms of the other accessories, so they come with these electric clippers, uh, which I was a little bit confused on because I just saw this and I thought, well, I, I have, you know, this thing doesn't work, do I have to charge it? Uh, it's actually fine. The way that all of these accessories work, which I like a lot, it connects right to here. And then when it connects to here, um, there's obviously these little power or power areas there it'll actually power everything so you have the electric clippers here right you have the grooming brush here uh this is a good one you can press here to clean it too if hair gets stuck which i've had to do a number of times already uh we have the de-shedding brush here right so this is just specifically for de-shedding really helps uh, we have a pug and this has been kind of a lifesaver to be honest with you this has been the one that has really really helped us out uh, they also have a cleaning brush. So, you know, inevitably as, as much, you know, as good as these things are when you're trimming the hair or, you know, using de shedding, there's always going to be some hair that gets loose. This is the thing that you could basically use. Like I said, it's going to have the, um, the, the suction inside. You could basically just clean up things with this. It does a really, really good job of uh, cleaning everything up. And then lastly, this is the crevice tool here, which basically is just, you know, it hooks up to it and you could just basically suck hair up that's there. And then uh, I should mention too that they have this little storage bag, which is nice to just, you know, keep everything organized and keep it in one area. I like that a lot. So yeah, guys, we've been used this a number of times, like I said, mostly with our little pug. Um, and she doesn't seem to be bothered by the noise. I think that's one of the biggest things is people think, well, is it too loud? We usually keep it on the medium setting. Um, so I found, right, so when we turn this on, this is a low setting. This is the medium one. This one typically for us has enough suction to where it's enough to where we don't need to, you know, turn it on higher. Because the louder that you turn the thing on, the uh, louder the suction is going to be, right? So this makes it so we don't have to do that. Um, she wasn't necessarily scared by the higher, um, you know, the highest suction. She wasn't necessarily scared by it. But we just figured, hey, you know, if we can keep it a little bit more quiet, even better. Um, but yeah, these all work really, really well. Uh, the de-shedding tool, like I said, has been a lifesaver for us. The one thing to know, I think this is important, the one thing to know is that although this is, you know, it can be used a lot just for, you know, cleaning up the brush or cleaning up the desk and brushing things, etc. Um, it's actually really good because what it can also do, when you have stuff on your clothes, this is the one thing to know here, is that it's great because you can actually clean off your clothes. Um, so when you get, you know, inevitably dog hair, cat hair on your clothes, etc. You can actually use this and it does a pretty good job. I was really surprised by it. it does a pretty good job in uh, not just getting the hair off, but actually sucking it up and getting rid of it and putting it into that little um, area there. So yeah, guys, if you are considering getting this and just not sure if it's worth it and everything and you're like, oh, does it really work? It does. Uh, we've had a good experience and definitely recommend it.